few days ago, I saw these closed terrariums in a supermarket, and I couldn't help but wonder how well they would work, so I bought two. They actually look very nice. I will be doing a test where I will improve one of them and leave the other one as is. Then I can compare the two and see which one does better. They come with a cork lid with a light integrated in it, which I think is a nice idea, but because of the button, it is clearly not airtight, which is really not something you want for a closed ecosystem. And if the batteries run out, well then you have a problem. As you can see, no water required. Now I've taken everything out of one of the jars. And I've separated the gravel from the soil. After giving the gravel a quick wash, I can put everything together again. Now I'm adding the gravel on the bottom. The reason why you want to have a separate layer of gravel and soil is so the gravel can act as a place where any excess water is stored. You don't want that water stored in the soil, because then the plants get too much water and their roots may start to rot. When I was adding the gravel, I realized that it was very little. I guess gravel is just expensive. I decided that it was a little too little, so I added some more. This is a stainless steel mesh, which will make sure the soil and the gravel will stay separated. Now I'm adding some activated carbon, which will filter the water. You'll notice that some of it is falling through the mesh, but that shouldn't affect how it works. Now it's time to add the soil. I tried to get the same density as in the other jar, which felt about right. At the end I was still left with quite some soil, I don't know exactly why. Now I could add the plants again. I tried to get everything in the same spot as it used to be, because that looked nice. But I'm pretty bad at this sort of stuff. My aquascapes are always terrible as well. At the end I just dumped the moss everywhere. The last step is to add some springtails. Springtails are little hexapods which will act as a cleanup crew and help processing dead plant material. So now the improved terrarium is done. Here's what I did. I separated the soil and the gravel, added some more gravel, added a divider, added activated carbon and I added some springtails. I am going to monitor them for a few days to see if they have the right amount of water and then I'll completely seal them off. I don't know how well you can see this but the cork lid doesn't make a nice seam all the way around. And then there's that stupid button. So to make them fully airtight, I will have to use something like silicon sealant or whatever, but I'll do that later. It will be very interesting to see if these closed terrariums manage to survive, 
and if so, if my improved version will last longer. So, if you don't want to miss updates on these closed ecosystems, and if you want to see other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.